chapter 18. Shane, Shana, give us a break, Tabby complained shrilly. Look at me. Look at my ballerina skirt. She held up the front skirt. Even in the dim light, I could see the mud stain on the front. We have to get out of these woods, Tabby will angrily. Yeah, it's too dark, and we're wasting too much time, we agreed. The streak or tree bed got caught on a low tree limb. He tugged the hard support loose. Shane and Shannon ignored the complaints. The big, fiery pumpkins bouncing on their shoulders. They made their way steadily and quickly through the darkness of the woods. A few minutes later, we stepped out onto a narrow street. Seeing the bright street lights and rows of little houses, we all let out a happy cheer. Now we can trick our treat, one of the pumpkin heads croaked. I turned my eyes up and down the street. I saw house after house, all small, all on tiny lawns. Most of them had lights behind the front. Many of them were decorated for Halloween. The houses stretched for blocks. Two rows of brightly lit little houses, as far as I could see. This is an awesome neighborhood for trick or treating, I declared, starting to feel a lot better, a lot less frightened. Excellent, we agreed. We'll clean up here. Where are we? Walker demanded. How come I've never seen this neighborhood before? No one answered him. We were all too eager to get started. I pulled some wet leaves off my cape and straightened my mask. Tromping through the woods had messed up all of us. Sorry. Tromping through the woods had messed all of us up. We took a few seconds to get our costumes in better shape. Then the six of us hurried up to the first house. A young woman carrying a baby on one arm came to the door. She dropped miniature candy bars into our bags. The baby stared at the flaming bucket heads and smiled. At the next house, an elderly couple took forever and came to the door. Trick or tree, we shouted to some of our lungs. They raised their hands to the ears. I guess they couldn't stand the noise. I'm sorry, but we don't have any candy, the old woman said. She dropped nickels into our bags, the nickel for a bag. We hurried across the small yard to the next house. Two girls, about seven or eight, greeted us at the door. Awesome costumes, one of them said to Shane and Shana. They gave us little bags of M&Ms. This is cool, we declared as we hurried to the next house. The houses are so close together, Teddy added. We can do a hundred houses in no time. Why didn't we ever come here before, Walker asked. Trick or treat, we screamed as we rang the doorbell in the next house. A teenage boy with long blonde hair and an earring in one ear answered the door. He snickered at our costumes. Cool, he muttered. Then he dropped packages of candy corn to our beds. On to the next house. And the next. And the next. We did the next block. Stopping at every house. Then we covered two more blocks. The little houses seemed to stretch on forever. My trick-or-treat bag was nearly full. We stopped at the corner house because Walker's shoe had come untied. While we bit down to tie it, we all stopped to catch a breath. Hurry up! A pumpkin urged Walker. Flames leaped angrily from his eye holes. Yes, hurry, the other one hissed. No time to waste. Give me a break, Walker murmured. I have a knot. As he struggled with his shoe, the two pumpkin heads bobbed and squirmed impatiently. Finally, Walker climbed to his feet and picked up his bulging trick or treat bag. The pumpkin heads were already leading the way to the next block of houses. I'm getting a little tired, I heard Lee whisper to Tabby. What time is it? My bag is nearly full, Tabby replied. With a groan, she shifted the heavy bag to her other hand. Hurry, a pumpkin head insisted. Lots more houses to do. Lots, the other one hissed. We did two more blocks, both sides of the street, about 20 houses. My bag was filled to the top. I had to carry it in both hands. Walker's shoelace had come undone again. When he bent to tie it, he ripped in his hand. He ripped in his hand, I'm sorry. Now what am I going to do, he muttered. Hurry, a pumpkin head insisted. More houses. I'm getting tired, Tabby complained, loud enough for everyone to hear his time. Me too, we agreed, and this trick or treat bag is getting heavy. Stupid shoelace, Walker muttered, still bent over his shoe. I guess it is getting pretty late, I said. 
gazing around. I don't see any other trick or treaters. I think they've all gone home. I pulled off my cape. It was all tangled and it was starting to choke me. I bottled it up and tucked it under my arm. More houses, one pumpkin has whispered. Hurry, lots more to do, the other one insisted in her dry, crackling voice. The yellow flames danced inside her head. But we want to quit, we whined. Yes, we're done, Tabby agreed surely. You can't quit, a pumpkin head snapped. Huh? Lee's mouth dropped open. Keep going, you can't quit, the pumpkin head insisted. They both appeared to float up, to rise up over us. The fires raging their triangle eyes. The heads floated up over the dark cape bodies. You can't quit. You can't ever quit. To be continued. Chapter 19, next time.